Today we're going to learn about how to send a Pro Tools session. Sometimes you may need to do that um, because somebody else is going to mix, mix the session or uh, maybe you want another artist to, to collaborate with you. Uh, but most times it's because you need to send it to an engineer to get finalized or mixed or mastered or whatever the case may be. So, um, I'm going to show you how to, how to correctly send a session. So, let's open up a Pro Tools session. So after you're done or whatever state the session is in, this is still, this is how you send it. All right, so, so we have the session. Um, so the first thing we want to do is go to file, go to save copy in. Now, when this comes up, you want to just leave the format as uh, latest. But if you're sending it to somebody who has an older um, <clears throat> version of Pro Tools, you can, you know, you can. You can click one of these if you need to. Um, but if they're current, latest. Now what's important is that you click audio files and session plugin settings folder and root plugin setting for folder. So that means it's gonna in this session it's gonna save a copy of all your audio files, which whoever's gonna open it up uh, ultimately they'll need those so uh, I don't know if you've ever opened up a session where and, and the session will like it'll open up but all the audio files will be blank and it'll have to search for the audio files or are missing or they can't find them or whatever this mm -hmm. solves that problem by clicking uh, items to copy audio files then the session plugin folders and the root plugin setting folders Basically, if a person doesn't have, let's say they don't have R base or whatever, um, it'll save the 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 plugins with the session too. So uh, whoever receives this copy should be able to, able to open it up, and uh, with some exceptions, uh, uh, they should be able to open up the same plugins that you saved. Uh, even if they don't have them but like maybe if you have a, a universal audio and they don't have universal audio then those those plugins probably won't open up but other than that it should work but if they're going to mix it anyway it doesn't really matter but what does matter is you checking this audio files uh, button and if I were you I would do that too leave everything else alone and then press OK. Then you're going to decide where to save it. So I'll put it in my Pro Tools sessions. So it's copying everything. And once that's done, then we're going to go to that folder. which is right here, Pro Tools Sessions. Let's do it by date modified. Huh? That didn't do it. Let me see. Where is it? All right, there it is, right here. Now, what you have to do is you have to zip this file. So, I mean, compress it. So what you do is you press, if you're in a Mac, Press Control and then click and go to compress that session. So then it's gonna make that that shit that uh, session file smaller and put it to a, and put it into a zip folder. So 
so then when you so once that's done let's now you want to email it right so you go to your email and you're gonna send it okay so you're gonna attach it you're gonna go right here to attach files you're gonna go to where you put it which is music pro 2 sessions you can attach it right here I'm gonna press choose now it's going to say it's larger than 25 megabytes. It will be sent as a Google Drive link if you're using Google Drive or whatever. So, you're going to wait on this, and this will take some time uh, 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on the size of the session. Uh, it'll take a little while while we're waiting. Um, it's going to be sent as a Google Drive link, so you're going to have to have enough room in your Google Drive for the link to be there. So if you only have the free 15 uh, gig email uh, storage for your Google account, you probably need to pay that $1.99 to give yourself 100 um, or clear it out if you don't have room. Otherwise, you can use like uh, other type of like large file senders, but still send the the zip like this. Um, I forgot the name of the other um, the other service. It's another site where you can like send big files. But there's a couple of them. Just Google it. But I always send sessions just with my regular email, my Google Drive. Okay, so <clears throat> once it pops up like that, then you're going to press send. Now, I usually do um, uh, turn, any, uh, turn link sharing on. So anyone that has this can, can view it. Because the problem I have when I only share it with one person, which is the sender, like if they say I'm, that might be to a person's manager, and then the manager or artist manager, then a manager has to send it to the engineer. But once the manager sends it to the engineer, they can't open it because it's only shared with the manager's email address. So just to, to, to eliminate all the confusion and back and forth, I just turn link sharing on so anybody with um, um, with the link can uh, view it or download it so that they can you know mix it or whatever. And you press send and that's it. 